Hello and welcome to the third video for the Cartesian Geometry module. In the previous video we worked on the equations of lines, what the equation of a line meant, uh, the slope-intercept form, how to interpret that. In this video we want to work on calculating the equations of lines. So given pieces of geometric information, how can we figure out what the equation of the line described by that geometric information is? We want to do this so that we can then test whether there are points on the line, where the line is going, how the line interacts with other objects. Very, very useful to have the equation because it completely describes the line. If we're given the slope and the intercept, then everything is automatic. We just take the slope, put it in where m should be in the slope-intercept form, take the intercept, put it in where b should be for the slope-intercept form, and there's your equation of the line. So that's the simplest situation if we're just explicitly given the slope and the y-intercept. If we're given a slope and a point, it's not quite as straightforward. We can till, still take the slope and put it in where m would be in the slope-intercept form, but then b is unknown. However, we have this point, and we can take the y-coordinate and put it in for y, we can take the x-coordinate and we can put it in for x, because the point has to satisfy the equation of the line. But then, the only unknown here is the intercept b, and we can solve for it. 4 times 2 is 8. We can subtract 8 from both sides of the equation, and we can solve to see that b should be negative 6. And then we can just replace b with negative 6 and get the equation of the line. So the slope part is the same. We use, one of, we use the point then to determine what the intercept should be. That gives us the equation of the line. Finally, we can be given two points. In the plane, a line is determined uniquely by two points, and between any two points there's exactly one line. So two points determine a unique line. We sort of work the same way. We want to figure out what the slope is, and then we want to figure out what the intercept is. So the slope is given by rise over run, which is given by the difference in y, in the height, divided by the difference in x. Um, so as long as the x-coordinates are not the same, we don't divide by 0, we can take y minus y for the numerator, we take x minus x for the denominator, and that's going to give us the slope. We calculate this, minus 5 minus 1 is negative 6, 3 minus 1 is 2, six, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, so that gives us the slope. And then we put the slope into the slope-intercept form. Slope calculated by rise or run, slope goes into the form, and then again, like the previous situation, b is unknown. But we have two points, and either point will work. Both points should satisfy the line, so doing this with either point should be exactly the same, should give you exactly the same intercept. I did it with 3 and negative 5, so negative 5, I put that in for the y-coordinate, 3, I put that in for the x-coordinate, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, add 9 to both sides, I get that b is equal to 4, and the equation on the line is y equals negative 3x plus 4. If I'd put, in, put, in, if I'd put 1, 1 in instead, that would also work, we see that 1 does in fact equal to negative 3 plus 4, 1, 1 does in fact satisfy the equation of this line. So at this step when you're solving for b, either point should work. If the points give you something different, then somewhere a mistake has been made. And this is how we calculate equations of the lines from either given explicitly the intercept and the slope, or a slope and a point, or two points, which are the most common ways of describing a particular line in the plane.